Without doubt, one of the more well-known videos I've done is about this guy. This is Nathan Roberts. He is from the YouTube channel Flat Earth Doctrine, and he's also written this book. Now, if that doesn't jog your memory about who this guy is, maybe this will. Right here. This right here is lies and propaganda. So if you ever want to ch buy a children's book in space, then this is how I propose you do it. You get it off the bookshelves by first ripping it up, and then you buy it. This right here is a bunch of lies, a bunch of cartoons. That's right, Nathan Roberts is the book ripping guy. Hello all and welcome to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Yes, Nathan Roberts is back. Soon after making the video about his book ripping escapades, I believe his video was pulled for community reasons. Now, if you can remember, I was very upset with Nathan about the whole book ripping thing. So imagine my absolute dismay when I see a video from him encouraging other people to do the same. Are you guys ready? You gotta rip every page out of the book and then rip the, the book cover in half. Once that's done, then you're done. Okay? When the music starts. Now that has left me positively raging, so I thought I'd check out his channel to see if I can find another video I can get properly stuck into. And what do you know, I found one. How do I know I live on a spinning ball? Oh, I don't know. How about this? Okay, so we're looking 13.6 miles across a bay at the Mobile Municipal Court. No problems so far. Ugh.
Okay, for starters, we aren't taking standard refraction into account. So let's use a calculator that does that, shall we? We'll keep four feet as the viewer height and we get a hidden value of 68.7 feet. Perfect. Please continue, Nathan. Okay, well the conditions on the day might have meant that the refraction values are a little bit higher, but let's also check the elevation of the target building as well. As we can see it's roughly 10 feet above sea level which technically means only 58 feet of the building should be hidden. This means Nathan that your observation matches what we should see on a globe. Core of perspective. There's only one reason why you can't see the bottom of that building, Nathan. There's a ruddy big rock in the way. The thing is, Nathan, you're quibbling about a couple of stories which I've explained with natural refraction and the elevated position of the target building. No, they aren't a mirage, and I'm glad you've brought them up because now we are in intellectual dishonesty territory. If we go back to a screenshot from your own video, we can see that there is lots more land in your line of sight that is closer to you than the municipal building. Lots more. Well there you go, and how high is that bridge elevated? Remember, we're already talking about land that's elevated above sea level. <music> Mention gravity once. This is yet another attempt from a flat earther to try and fudge things to make it fit their skewed version of Earth. Look, here is your picture of the municipal building next to a close-up of it. There is absolutely no doubt that the bottom of this building is being hidden by the curve of the Earth. Case closed. Right, that brings another episode of Flat Earth Friday to a satisfying close. I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Simon Dan, have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Tuesday where we'll be taking a look at the cheeky Mandela effect. See you then.